While comparing Western to Eastern technology and fighter jets, we cannot skip over two widely compared aircraft, Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker and the McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, now Boeing F-15 Eagle. In the Eastern aviation, Sukhoi stands for a legend. The Sukhoi Design Bureau made such successful aircraft as the Su-24 Fencer Strike Fighter and the Su-27 Flanker series of air superiority fighters. The Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker was the top of Soviet technology at the time of its debut in the mid-80s. Large but exceptionally agile, it had powerful engines and a big load of weaponry. With the Flanker fighter jet, the Soviet aviation industry made a leap forward in military technology. The Su-27 is a really great aircraft and a huge success of Soviet aviation. Few know it, one of the most mass-produced Soviet Russian fighters was based partly on American technology, which enabled it to set over 30 world records. The Sukhoi Su-27 Flanker is a multi-purpose fighter interceptor that can carry out combat missions day and night in all weather conditions. The Su-27's capabilities are formidable. It is capable of flying at more than twice the speed of sound. The Flanker can reach Mach 2.35 has a service ceiling higher than 18,000 meters and has a flight range of more than 3,000 kilometers. Like most weapons of Soviet origin, the aircraft's task was to counterbalance or even outperform American firepower, in this case the F-15 Eagle. In the early 1980s, Soviet intelligence agents somehow got hold of the blueprints of the F-15 Eagle designed by McDonnell Douglas and handed them over to the Sukhoi Design Bureau. Soviet engineers used them to create the first prototype of the new fighter. The intelligence data was incomplete, so the hijacked F-15 model lacked the supersonic speed and aerodynamic performance of the real F-15. In the end, it was decided to combine the model with the 1970s Soviet technology, and in 1981 the first T-10S took to the skies, which later became known as the Su-27. All subsequent models designed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau, Su-30, Su-34, Su-35, Su-57, etc., were based on the Su-27. Today, the Su-27's primary use is as a long-range fighter interceptor. It serves in air defense formations and, in the event of war, is tasked with achieving air supremacy over enemy fighters and bombers. Meanwhile, the offspring of the Su-27 have undergone a baptism of fire in Syria and elsewhere. For example, the carrier-based Su-33 has flown numerous sorties against Islamic State positions from the aircraft carrier Admiral Kuznetsov. And until recently, the Su-34 frontline bomber and the Su-35 fighter were the main military muscle of the Russian Air Force in Syria, and it was they that turned the tide of the war. As well as being one of the main aircraft of the Russian Air Force, the Su-27 is presently in service in parts of the Commonwealth of Independent States, India, China, Indonesia, Angola, Mongolia, United States, and other countries. Two Su-27s were delivered to the U.S. in 1995 from Belarus. Two more were brought from Ukraine in 2009 by a private company, Pride Aircraft, to be used for aggressor training for U.S. pilots. They have been spotted operating over Area 51 for evaluation and training purposes. Overall, 809 flankers have entered service, plus large production orders for several variants. The export version is the Su-27SK and Su-27UBK two-seater. Export Su-27S single-seater, exported to China in 1992 through 1996 and developed into Xinyang J-11. The transfer of Su-27s to China caused a surprising amount of friction between Moscow and Beijing. China purchased some flankers off the shelf, agreed to co-produce another batch, and acquired a license for production of additional aircraft. However, Russia soon accused China of violating the terms of the agreement by installing its own avionics on the J-11, as the Chinese designated their own flankers, 
appropriating Russian intellectual property and developing a carrier variant, eventually the J-16. The dispute cooled Russian enthusiasm for arms export to China, a situation that persists today. The Sukhoi Su-27 armament includes a single 30mm Gryazev Shapunov GSH-30-1 cannon in the starboard wing route, and up to 10 hardpoints for missiles and other weapons. Flanker's standard missile armament for air-to-air -air combat is a combination of Vimepel R-73, AA-11 Archer, Vimepel R-27, AA-10 Alamo weapons with extended range and IR-guided models. The flanker has a comparable weapon arsenal to the Eagle in some respects. The F-15 can carry a wide range of air-to-air -air weaponry. The Eagle can be armed with combinations of AIM-120 advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles on its lower fuselage corners, AIM-9LM Sidewinder or AIM-120 missiles on two pylons under the wings, and an internal 20mm Gatlin gun located in the right wing route. The Su-27 was the last of the major fourth-generation fighters to enter service and has proven an exceedingly successful design. Big enough and powerful enough to sustain a number of modifications and improvements, the flanker should continue to see service and even production for quite some time. This is especially true given the uncertainty associated with the future of the PAC-FA, the fifth-generation stealth fighter intended to replace both the MiG-29 and the SU-27.